Let's prepare a bacterial smear from a solid growth medium. Bacteria grown on solid media must be dispersed in water. This allows you to view them as individual organisms under a microscope. To prepare a smear from a solid medium, you need a plated culture, glass slide, inoculating needle, permanent marker, china marker, water dropper, and bacterial incinerator. Begin by using the permanent marker to write the name of the specimen on the frosted end of the slide. Using the china marker, make a target circle about the size of a dime on the underside of the slide, about two-thirds down away from the frosted end. Use the water dropper to place a very small drop of water on the top side of the slide over the target circle. Next, use the inoculating needle to add the specimen sample. Before taking the sample, flame the needle in the incinerator for at least five seconds to sterilize it. Hold the inoculating needle in one hand and pick up the culture plate with the other. Take a small sample with the tip of the needle then place the plate back into its lid. Pick up the slide and mix the sample into the water on the slide. Spread the mixture around on top of the slide but stay within the area over the target circle. Flame the inoculating needle one last time, then put it aside. Let the smear air dry completely to prevent distorting the size and shape of the bacteria during heat fixing. After the smear dries completely, it must be heat fixed. Heat fixing kills the bacteria and adheres or fixes them to the slide. To heat fix the smear you need a slide holder such as a clothespin and Bunsen burner. First, attach the slide holder to the slide. Pick up the slide and clamp the slide holder to the frosted end of the slide. Supporting the slide by its holder, pass the smear in and out of the Bunsen burner flame at the top of the blue cone, the hottest part of the flame for one to two seconds per pass. Do this four to five times. The slide will break if it stays in the flame too long. It also may break if the sample is not completely dry before you heat it. The smear is now heat fixed and ready to be stained for examination under a microscope.